to see this girl. I'm going to marry her. Dave thinks we're having a fight. We are. What's with him? He's in love. How do you like saying goodbye to a co-ed? I think it's really great that she's going to school. Who asked you? I saw her, Cyril, with another guy. Just do me a favor, huh? Stay the hell out of my life. Last time you were out with a girl? I don't know. Three weeks ago. Yeah, well, I was watching this Andy Hardy movie on TV. And every time he turns around, this guy's got a date. I mean, Polly wants to take him here, and Judy Garland wants to take him there, and I got a kicked in the TV set. I don't think I've had a date since my voice changed. Oh, come on, you've been out with lots of girls. Lots? No, Dave. No. Mike has gone out with lots of girls. Lots is when you have to think for a minute to come up with all the names. I know every name, Dave. I know every birthday. That hardly qualifies as lots. And a couple of more, and I can safely say a few. I think you think about it too much. Oh, it's not me. It's my glands. These little guys are driving me nuts. They keep yelling at me. We put hair on your chest. We changed your voice. It's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. It'll happen. It'll uh, happen. I don't know, Dave. Sometimes I think that that God is in cahoots with all the women in the world, that it's a plan. God? Don't you think that maybe he's got more important things on his mind? Oh, I don't think he thinks about it every day. I figure that my misery is kind of his hobby, you know? Like his Monday night football. Start running, Cyril. Again? <laughs> Something no matter. I'm well, fine. I'm just immobile. I gotta get a drink. You've never been here before, have you? Uh-uh. It's so beautiful. You know that most of these statues were done by Italians? Scultore. Oh. Signorina. Bellissimo, no? Yeah. So that's what they look like without their jeans, huh? start with marriage, you know, and then after I knew her for a while, then I'd say something. So I'll go talk to her. Why ruin a perfectly good relationship? Go on, why not? No, Dave, no. What's she gonna do? No, go Dave, Dave. Cyril. No, Dave, Dave. Hi. 
You're, um... A student. I know. Well, I can see this was meant to be. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm sorry. I mean, this is really embarrassing. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I just uh, uh, wanted you to know that you're you're one of the six prettiest girls I've ever seen. Six, huh? Well, uh, I'm kind of young yet, you know, and uh, you never know who you're going to meet. And you, you might as well keep your options open. My name is Cyril. Cyril? Cyril, which is something I'll never forgive my parents for. <laughs> you have a name? Jeannie Lindsay. Jeannie Lindsay. I'm working up to something here, and... Uh, oh, shoot, uh, I've got to go, Cyril. She's incredible. You're getting drool on your shoes. So I called them up. They said, look, I've been working for this dumb diploma for 12 years, and then they go and throw George on there. My name's Moocher. I want to be called Moocher. You really want him to put Moocher on your diploma? Uh-huh. I mean, my name is George, but it's my dad's name, you know? I don't know. It's just weird opening the mailbox and seeing it right there on the envelope and all. You can't be Moocher forever. Yeah. I have to go to work. Hey, Nance. You know, I am trying to get a job. I know that. Bye, Georgie. <laughs> What do you think? At least you get to some national hamburger chain. Really? He'll make a fortune. I hate that guy. You know, um, I was looking through that catalog that the college sent in the mail the other day. They're starting a course tomorrow night where they uh, teach you how to get a real estate license. So? Well, I, I just, uh, I thought you'd like to know. Know what? I'm in the used car business. What do I care? It's for me. Say something. You gotta go. Ray? You took that job. Why not? Movie theater rusher. You don't know what you're talking about, Mike. It's a great job. Right, Dave? Well, if you don't mind working in the dark. That's what we're thrilled about. You don't know how much you wanted me to get this job. I mean, Scott, I'm going to be an usher all my life, you know. I mean, you know, maybe assistant manager and then manager. And you get to pick the movies? <laughs> no, I don't get to pick the movies. But you know that voice you hear on that recording? Are you going to do that? Uh -huh. Great. <laughs> Give me a break. It's a crummy job. Right, Cyril? Cyril? What's with him? He's in love. When the moon hits your eye like a peak, it's a pirate somebody. La 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 <laughs> Listen, guys, I'll see you later. Huh? See you, Cyril. Ciao, Cyril. See you, Cyril. Hey, Cyril. Yeah? When are you going to call her? Oh, I figured I'd wait 10 or 20 years. What? Yeah. 
Oh, I figure she'll marry some rich doctor, you know, and uh, spend all that lonely time in some big rich house somewhere and watching television, drinking too much. And then one day I'd show up. She'd put down her scotch and invite me in. We'd have this real steamy affair. And then just as I got her hooked, I'd tell her it was through. I had to hit the road. Because I'm a wandering kind of guy. Hey, Cyril. Hmm? I saw that movie. The husband shoots you in the end. Well, it's dangerous work being a wandering kind of guy. I think you should call her. What's she going to do? Look. You want to know what's wrong with the way you handle women? No. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Fine? It's fine. Everything is fine? Everything's fine. Well, how come nobody's saying anything? Oh, we're just uh, enjoying the quiet. Would you excuse me, please? Are you and Mama having a fight? Her mother and I are having a discussion. About what? How do I know? Do me a favor. Get lost. Papa? I want to finish my discussion with your mother. <sighs> Evelyn. Evelyn. Thanks for having a fight. We are. What did I do? I need a check for $300. What happened? The boiler broke? You know darn well why I need that check. I want to take that course at the university. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, Ray Stoller, I've never asked you for anything in my life before. No? What about the electric bike like Christmas? That doesn't count? You got that from the bank. I don't see what this big deal is with the real estate course anyway. Oh. What did I say? Where are you going? For a drive. Hi, Mama. Hi. Hi, Mama. Evelyn. Evelyn, don't do anything crazy! Oh, boy. How's the discussion going? It's moving along. please. Hello, Jeannie? Yeah. Um, hi. Um, I don't know if uh, you remember me or not. We met uh, kind of today in the uh, University Art Gallery. Cyril. Aha. Oh, you do remember me. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, listen, listen. Uh, listen, I'm going to do something here, and uh, 
I just want you to know right up front that it doesn't matter whether you say yes or no. Uh, it's okay. You just uh, tell me the truth. I mean, if you say no, it's no big deal. And if you say yes, uh, uh, I'll figure that my mother paid you or something, you know? So it's all right. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, here goes. Um, how would you like to maybe uh, uh, do something with me or, or something? You're kidding. You think I'm charming? Well, of course, of course it's charming. I mean, what do you think I've never done this before? Uh-huh. Yeah, um, great. Uh, well, tomorrow? Oh, um, well, let me check my calendar. <laughs> uh, no, 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 tomorrow would be fine. It's just I was supposed to go to the movies with... No, no, I could, uh, I could, I could just rearrange a few things. It'd be all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we say that I'll pick you up uh, at your Simon Hall? Okay. Seven o'clock. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad we had this little chat. <laughs> You're right. I should quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then, huh? Okay, bye. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Okay. Now, I got no problem lending you the car. What? But it comes back clean with a full tank of gas. And? And if this car isn't sitting in my driveway when I wake up in the morning, you die. It'll be there. I swear it'll be there. Go get her, Tiger. <laughs> good car. Pretty girl. God's been good to me. He'll strike out. Gosh, it's 6.15. The class is at 7. Here you go. Here's that. There's that. There. Now, both of you eat up. That's everything, isn't it? Plates. Plates. I tell you, Dave, all this higher education is not good for people. There you are. There you are. Okay? Okay, I'm going. Bye. 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 How do you like saying goodbye to a co-ed? See you later. Ciao, Mama. Ciao! You know, I think it's really great that she's going to school. I mean, she, she seems so happy, you know? And you just know she's going to do well. I think it's... Who asked you? And that's how you turn on the marquee. Got it. Oh, I'll bet you do, Ace. You're a cutter, aren't you? Yeah. You know, I had my roommate all figured out for this job, but, well, the owner saw you first. I guess what I'm saying is, uh, you better be on your toes. You got that, Ace? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Responsibilities. Well, the show's on, you make sure there's no talking and no smoking in the auditorium. And no feet up on the seat. Seats cost money. Sounds easy enough. And then after the last show, I leave and you have maintenance. Maintenance? You walk up and down the aisles, collect the trash, there's solvent for the gum, shine the glass in the windows, and if there's any mess in the johns, why, you clean that too. What exactly is it you do? Me? I supervise. I wonder how I figured that out.
life growing, renewing itself. It's fantastic to be alive. Excuse me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's just. Well, I'm looking for a, a girl so named alive, Jeannie Lindsay. So am I. You? Yeah, me. You don't go to school here, do you? I mean, uh, marry me what are you? A cousin or something? Yeah, I so. I'm her cousin, and uh, and I also just escaped from the pen, and I'm a homicidal maniac. So you want to just go get her? <laughs> Car cleaned all the windows. There's a baby crying down there. We'll make him shut up. Miss, the baby's making an awful lot of noise. I know. Right. Well, have you got a pacifier or something like that? Uh-uh. I didn't do it. Oh, honey. Look, you got to do something. Miss, you have to do something. I'm right, sorry. You have such a nice face. Why? It's unbelievable. You've committed murder just as much as her own. Leslie told me you were dangerous. Are you? Me? Uh, no. Oh. Okay, then. Are you a cutter? Well, uh, actually, I'm the son of a cutter. talking about? I'm not sleeping. Where's your mother? It's only 10 o'clock, Papa. Oh. Okay. I just can't sleep without your mother. It's just a habit. Okay. And then I got to thinking, when was the last time I had a pillow fight? And was the last time, really the last time I'd ever had one? I don't know. I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I wish there was this guy, you know, who, who sort of tapped you on the shoulder and said, this is it, kid. This is the last time you're going down a sliding pond, so remember it. <laughs> it would sure make growing up a whole lot easier, you know? You really think about things like that? I know, pretty weird, huh? <laughs> you know what else I think about? You, you, know, you know that guy on the cereal box, how in the picture, he's sitting at a table, and on that table, there's a cereal box, and on that cereal box is a picture of a man sitting at a table, and no, on that it's, table... There's a cereal box and a picture of a man. <laughs> you think about it, too? No, not till just now. <laughs> you go out with me? What kind of question is that? Will you go out with me again? What kind of question is that? Okay, if I, if I let you out of the first two questions, will you let me kiss you? So suave. Hey, yeah, Mooch. If this doesn't work out, you can always become a drum major. <laughs> well, I talked to Norma tonight. She said she saw you out in front of the theater in your coat and your tie, and she thought you looked kind of cute. She thought I looked kind of cute, huh? Oh, Mike, you were right. This job stinks. 
Well, you're not going to quit, are you? I didn't say I was going to quit, Nancy. I'm sorry. I'm not going to quit. That's my car! Zero, are you nuts? You could have been killed. What do you mean, could have? He's going to get killed. Ask me how my date was. What is he, drunk or something? No, Mikey, I'm not drunk. They asked me if my date was good. Sir, was your date good? Better than good. He isn't drunk. He's deranged. Come on, Mooch. Ask me if my date was great. Was your date great, Sir? Do you know it's 1.30 in the morning? Better than great. Oh, give me a break. What's better than great to you? Come on, Mikey. Davey, Moochie, you know what's better than great. <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> <laughs> after class that his wife passed away last year. And he wanted to make a new start, so that's why he moved here. He's only been here about a week. He's living in that little apartment over Dwyer's drugstore. He's Irish, you know. They have the most wonderful smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not mad about the money, are you? Because once I get my real estate license, I'll sell something, and then we can put the money right back in the bank account. <laughs> she cracks me up. Every year she talks that Charlie Brown is a kick in the football, and every year she pulls it away. <laughs> well, I gotta go. I keep thinking about him alone in that little apartment. Someday, I, I'd like to show him around town. You, you know where the bank is and the laundromat and things like that. Oh, what do you think? Who's that? Bob Doherty. Doherty? My teacher. What would you think if I showed him around town one day? Sure. As long as I have to pick him up. Well, you don't. I'm sure he drives. Well, you know these old guys. He's not so old. He's probably not a day over 42. What do you do, huh? Well, it's hard to tell. He's in such good shape. Goodbye. What do you do, huh? Something the matter? Who is this guy? <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, and you know the best part about it? Mike. I tell him every nuance. I mean, every detail. You should have seen the expression on his face. I mean, you'd think he was the only guy that ever gone out with a girl. I'm telling you, Dave, she is pretty incredible. Yeah, I got that impression. You know, I'm thinking of getting her something. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know, like a symbol, you know? All these college girls were talking about getting pinned and stuff. Hey, hey wait a second. I mean, don't you think you're rushing things a little bit? I mean, you've only been out with her three times. Well, I don't know, Dave. I, I want everybody to know that she's mine. Yours? What do you mean, yours? Oh, come on, Dave. You know what I mean. Besides, you're not a frat guy. You're a lowly cutter, remember? What are you going to pin her with? All right, so I don't exactly pin her. I'll, uh, I'll give her a piece of limestone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. gotta tell him. It's gonna kill him, you know. He's nuts about her. Hey, who knows? Maybe it was all innocent. I mean, it could have been her cousin or something. You believe that? No. All I know is if I were going out with some girl and somebody told you she was all over some other guy, I'd want you to tell me. 
Mercúrio. the symbol a ring what did this cost you three and a half bucks in modern science amazing so i gotta tell you something i think that maybe you're making a mistake here what you think maybe it's uh it's cheap looking or something no, no not the ring not the ring what david think she's too good for me? No, Cyril, nobody's too good for you. Well, she likes me a lot, I know that. Yeah, well, I saw her, Cyril. With well, another guy, I think she likes a lot, too. And, uh, I wanted to be sure, so I didn't... I called Paulina, this girl I know at the college. Jeannie likes a lot of guys. What are you talking about? Hey, Dave, haven't you been listening to me? I mean, I told you what happened on the first date. Well, it happened on the second date, too. I know. I'm sure. It happens to a lot of people. It happens to a lot of people on a lot of dates, and they don't all love each other. Do me a favor, huh? Just stay the hell out of my life. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> you want something? Yeah, could you please remove your feet from the seat, sir? Oh, anything you say, sir. Hey, guys, come on. Thank you very much. How you like that, guys? I got a midget usher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a reasonable guy. Forget about Friday. How about Saturday? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I'm going out of town this weekend. Uh-huh. I've got to visit my aunt in Dearborn, and I probably won't be back till Sunday night. Well, hey, i got a good idea. How about if I borrow a car and drive you to Dearborn? Oh, no, that's okay. Oh, really? It's no trouble. Cyril, the bus will be fine. Well, can I come up? Oh, that's the ring, isn't it? I shouldn't have done that. That was really dumb, huh? No, I have an exam to study for, that's all. Well, it only costs six bucks. Come on. All right. Four. Good night. Guys down there have their feet on the seats. <laughs> hey, hey, quit throwing popcorn and get your feet off the seat, please. Hey, you want to keep your voice down, please? Yes. We can't hear the movie! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Look, I asked you nicely once. You wouldn't understand, see? We have long legs. <laughs> Get him down! All our legs are broken. <laughs> Some trouble here? Yeah. Steve, Bill, Jimbo, what's going on? Hey, we're having a hard time here with this little guy standing around here all the time making a lot of noise. Yeah! yeah. 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 Really? Well, let me see what I can do about that. George, you want to come with me? George. Bye, George. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, now, that was very bad, George. Very bad. I'm going to have to report you to the owner. You know those guys, don't you? Well, as it happens, I do, yeah. Yeah, why didn't you tell them to take their feet off the seats? Well, that's your job, George. Now, the idea is for you to learn how to handle people, and you handled them pretty badly. The only one getting handled badly is me. Oh, are you unhappy with your employment here, George? I mean, I can't understand that at all. I, I think I've been more than fair with you, and... Well, I sure would hate for you to be unhappy. Oh, this counter's all messy. You want to take a crack at it, George? Yeah, I'll take a crack at it. But the name's Mojo. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have told him. He wouldn't even talk to me. I called him up and I asked him if he wanted to do something. He wouldn't even talk to me. Well, he talked to me. You know what he's going to do? What? He's going to stand outside her dorm and wait for her like some jerk. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have told him. Take my word for it. He'll be grateful. It may take five years, but he'll be grateful. You should have seen the look on Nancy's face when I told her I'd lost my job. Big deal. I've lost lots of jobs. I shouldn't have told him. Oh, did I tell you how I lost my job? Hi, Mr. Storr. It's, uh... Dave's not here. Oh. Well, how's Mrs. Storr? She's not here either. She's out looking at laundromats. Oh. What's the matter, Sue? I don't know. It... It's this girl. College girl? I knew it. All this higher education. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Forget it. We all go through it. You too? Of course. What do you think? You know, Mrs. Stoller was not the first woman in my life. No, siree. Actually, one or two got away. Really? Sure. I remember there was this uh, girl in high school, Rosemary Chase. She really hurt you, huh? Hey, uh, she tried, but I wouldn't let it happen. I wanted to take her to the prom, but I could never work up enough courage to ask her. I'd see her coming down the hall, looking like a bat for baby powder. My mouth would get all dry. I'd look down to see if all the buttons on my shirt were buttoned. She made me crazy. So did you finally ask her out? Sure. She went with another guy. Um, I bet that really killed you. Nah. I remember uh, on prom night I stood outside her house. I watched her get into the car with this guy. Everyone was taking pictures. She had on this white thing with no back. I thought about her back for months. She had a great back. I'm sorry. Of course. It was her loss, right? 
Well, you see, whatever it is that's bothering you, forget it. In a month, you won't even remember. Hmm. Right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Stoller. Take care, sir. Twisted kid. So, Rosemary Chase had a great back, huh? <laughs> Cyril told me. We had a long talk last night. Oh, you listen to Cyril. I made all that stuff up. Who's this guy with Mama? Three guesses. Hi. This is Bob Doherty. This is my husband, Ray Stoller. Ray? Yeah. And this is my son, Dave Stoller. Hi, Hi Bob. Doherty. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. I think it's just terrific. Knock it off. Guess what Bob needs? Startled me. Need a car. I'm just going to drop him off because I have to go home and study. And then uh, I'll see you tonight after class, OK? Talking to me? Who else would I be talking to? Uh, listen. You'll make him a nice deal. Okay? Oh, it'll be a pleasure. You know, uh, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh. Yeah, Mama. So, you want to buy a car, huh? Hard to show real estate without one. Your son's been telling me about this little baby. It's easily the best car on the lot. Now you see, that's why I'm the father and he's the son. Well. I'm not going to waste my time or yours by showing you some flashy tin can that's going to spend more time in the mechanic's garage than yours. No, sir. I'm straight. This way. Yes, sir. Now, this is the baby for you. I kind of like it. Da, 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 the best car on the lot. Runs like a Swiss watch. I always heard these were a lot of trouble. Uh, here, uh, just sign every place there's an X. You know, I've been spending a lot of time with Evelyn lately. Yeah. I heard that rumor. I envy you, Ray. I'd say 90% of the time we're together, she's talking about you. Yeah? Yeah, you know how you used to work double shifts in the quarries to buy a house before Dave here was born. How you sold your first car to buy her an engagement ring. How you used to be a great dancer? Papa, I didn't know you danced. Well, you know. She said you used to go every Saturday night. And it was all she could do to keep the other girls away from you. You know your mother. She exaggerates. Uh-huh. I mean it. I envy you. I envy both of you. Here you go. You really think the other car is the best one on the lot? You don't really want that old thing I showed you, huh? You want that zippy little 78. You got it. time we maybe had a little conversation. Oh, what's the subject? You. Oh, good. Not the uh, cereal box with the picture of the guy at the table with the cereal. How was your visit with your aunt? Fine. Listen, you know, I know where you were this weekend. You were in Louisville with some guy, right? Yeah. Look, Jeannie. Who is this guy? I mean, what is he to you, huh? He's... someone I wanted to be with. I'm sorry I lied. Well, are there other people that you like to be with? Sometimes. What about me? 
Look, Jeannie, talk to me. Talk to me. I want you to talk to me. Look, I don't know who you have floating around in your head. I mean, she sounds like some wonderful girl, but it's just not me. I like you, Cyril. I like a lot of people. That's the way I am. Okay, okay, so you like a lot of people. Now, you know what I mean. I'm a big girl. And I, I do what I want, as long as no one gets hurt, which is why I lied, which I already apologized for, you know? Do you want me to lie some more? No. No, I get the picture. I'm sorry. I think you're a wonderful guy, Cyril. Yeah, well... I think you're a little tramp. I didn't mean that. How's it going? I don't know. Fair to Midland. With a touch of so-so. There'll be other girls, you know. Maybe. Definitely. You think so? I know so. How can you be so sure? I don't know kind of have this air about you. Me? Yeah. Kind of devil may care -ish, Kind of roguish. Me? Yeah, yeah. You know, some guys have it and some guys don't. You have it. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure of it. You're going to be breaking a lot of hearts in your lifetime, Cyril. Me? <laughs> hey, Dave, take a second ball. You're up. Look, I got to go. I'll see you later. Heartbreaker. This is David Hartman. Tomorrow, President Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, plus John Ritter, and later this week, Julie Andrews and Blake Edwards on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, the Fonz flips when he finds out about the night that Joni and Chachi got stranded in a honeymoon hotel on Happy Days. Then it's movie madness when the girls crash a Hollywood set and wind up in the arms of a prehistoric monster on Laverne and Shirley.